Welcome to Eve Singularity. I made your freak. Uh, sorry, I just woke up. I had a interesting thought. So they've completely highlighted and used um, aura and interesting pop-ups and you know all that for the enforcer tree right now the enforcer tree since i've done it twice came to mind that that was the simplest one that was just go out boom boom come back done or go out boom boom cargo's automatically in i mean uh, uh mission cargo's automatically in put into your inventory boom boom come back complete the rinse cycle repeat right and then it dawned on me that's the reason that they haven't gone further than that that no other career agent has gotten the you know it's been freaking how long has it been since they introduced this as a we we put it on go check it out we're awesome and i'm like wait a minute there's a reason beyond manpower powers that they haven't, you know, done it for all of them. And I'm like, why did they? And I was like, oh, wait, they picked Enforcer because it was the simplest. And they're like, yeah, no problem. We'll do this. And I'm like, but you have the help videos. Like somebody made those help videos, right? what oh right sorry wrong way jesus just you'd think they put the never mind it's just they're idiots um they've got all this exploring stuff um industrial stuff well not really <laughs> they've got the explorer stuff so would they have highlighted the explorer stuff let's check it out Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, uh. Right. Scaling for the character, not for... Yeah, the mission, yeah. Okay, so. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. God, just... Could you... Just have a dock, please. Could you just... Uh, and could you just not have this the same size i almost clicked this i did click this, click this by accident the last mission wow this is just <laughs> wow it's just the little things are just adding up here like bit by bit into a confusing morass nope no highlights no highlights whatsoever Okay, so Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. here's the thing. They have it, it, it's it's a contradiction, right? I'm just pointing out contradictions in their in order to have evidence of you know just to say, hey, look, this is the contradiction. Why haven't they done this, right? So. They've got a bunch of stuff set up and they've put it in the pipeline for Enforcer. But you'll have to agree with me, that's the easiest path to go through, right? It's okay, so manpower is right, get this done. But they've announced it. Why wouldn't they why would they announce it and have it so ramshackled and half assed? Manpower. But they have 150 devel developers and they have the help section for explorers right that would be okay if you don't well if we have a hard time you know not we have the manpower it's the willpower the the knowledge power the we don't have any clue what this this career path you know because i'm sure the devs who made it were long gone right it's like the explorer path we have no idea what the heck this mission tree is about that it's got nothing well a, they don't play the game, so they have no clue. But even the people 
who made these Explorer stuff have no idea what the hell the career agent is about because it's it's so it's so unique and it's got so many stupid MacGuffins in it that it would confuse anybody and especially people who made this if they're devs you know or even if they have people who made this who aren't devs who are trying to talk to the devs who are making the storyline these guys wouldn't have any clue how to help them because the explorer thing is so completely different from normal exploring that it would be difficult for them to get the word across so yeah there and the soldier of fortune it's confusing as hell because you're forced to lose a ship and when you play the game, you're not forced to lose the ship by the system, right? The The mission system does not force you to lose a ship. So it's like, how do we get tooltips around that? The industrialist, as you saw, they're so bare minimum. Here's the marketplace. We're going to talk about the marketplace and ignore all the filters and everything else. And the industrialist, yeah, good luck with that. So I think it's not for lack of manpower. And I don't think it's for lack of squirrel they saw something else i think it's this a they don't have a clue how it works in the first place and b these are so uniquely mickey mouse that and it would be difficult for people who know the game to explain to the devs how it's working currently to help them understand what should be done to highlight it but it's it's even dumber than that like it's even dumber than that the enforcer like everything's dumbed down it's so dumbed down and stupid that they could literally just highlight because what they did was they just highlighted the mission thing with blue dock blue undock blue talk the agent blue warped the mission site blue dock when you're finished blue um that was it and then their their little aura pop-ups and their little extra pop-ups were just copy and paste, pretty much, almost literally, of what you'd normally get in the Korea agent pass. So what's so hard about doing that, right? Right? So it's like... But... And... That's all evidence. This is what I really think. You saw them get up during the fan fest and brag about how they're the graphics department, but they're they're, they're narrative driven. We're the narrative department. We're the storyline, and we're gonna. And I think what's happening is they want to alter. I think Aura did a bit of exposition that was more than the fluff you got with the regular. I think they're so power hungry little shits that they want to control the narrative and they want to have people, you know, advise them about the best way to do that. But nobody can advise them unless you're a career agent expert, aka me. And even I couldn't explain it to even people who were on help, like noob help. God, I feel for those people answering these questions day in, day out. They know exactly how to explain the explorer, the enforcer, the soldier, all, you know, the military and advanced military career agents paths to these people. But these people are so, I want to control everything that it's not about control or narrative. It's about ego, about we know the best. And these people who are desperate to help them would try to explain how it works. And these people would just, the devs would just, who are, have control over this, have no interest in uh, learning how the game plays. Right? So this is about learning how the game plays. But it's very niche, as in learning how to get around the stumbling blocks of the career agents so i don't think the mentality 
like the literal mentality of these devs who were tasked with fixing their career agents are in line with anything to do with helping newbies anything to do with improving the system it's just i want control of the narrative and it's like there what there's so many functional things that are wrong with this and you're you're removing those silly walls thank you but you're adding a lot of unnecessary confusion because if you look if you look at this stuff and you go to the next mission um making mountains and molehills right if you jesus could you just not i can't even can i literally okay i have to maximize it wow so they've probably got it oh you totally have to like have this totally maximized right you know that's the way it works it's awesome i mean it's got to be totally yeah uh, fill the screen yeah because this is so awesome and you want to see this character because you'll totally be interacting with the character your entire eve career <sighs> right and then you go on to like they haven't even promised they didn't even say it once in the fan fest they that they're thinking of moving this into the actual this is just a test run uh working the kinks out focus on the most important thing about eve the career agent mpe because it needs the most work <laughs> and they're just going to add an extra layer of confusion that they don't see that the noobs would have to deal with and of course yeah making the lives of people on noob help even more difficult thanks guys you're awesome like who the f goes on to help desk and says i'm confused by these walls walls wall sections nobody because it's intuitive it's confusing but they understand it's the devs problem not ours so the devs fix it and then they just didn't do anything else because oh it adds content people can be content creators when they go on that new help and help people over stuff you've left broken for decades awesome you suck so yeah when you accept it and then you dock to complete it it's got this oh we're waiting for and blank complete and you hit complete and it gives you a preview of the next mission but it, then it says request and it's um what's happening is they've misunderstood and mis copy and pasted it just looks like they copy and pasted the old system onto the new system and didn't think oh wait we better not show a preview if you haven't requested the next mission because it might confuse noobs into thinking they they want to accept the mission and then the undock and go why don't i have a mission set I'm yeah all right you know it's just why am i talking about the most ridiculous thing it's because it is ridiculous they've their egos are just so overweened it's like they're pre it's preventing them from actually going forward with this i think i think they've got a stumbling block of ego um and they they don't want to be they don't want to have the game explained to them they want to have it people who play the game to tell them what's happening so they can narrate it but people in the game can't do that because it's so niche and unique that only a few select people in noob help can possibly help them because they've answered the question so many times that they've got the context and that's what they want the devs i think want the context so they can narrate it 
but it's difficult unless you've answered questions all day for noobs about this that you understand the the gameplay context of this right because otherwise you look at the career agents you're like that's niche and unique and mickey mouse there you go that's your context but the people who answer questions all day and noob help understand the context of that particular mission tree you know and could possibly give context to the devs but unfortunately why would you force a person who's been helping people for probably years force them to divorce the necessary functional fixes that needed to just giving them what they want which is just the context of what it feels like to be a new going through this minus all the <laughs> questions right so you're basically ripping the soul out of the people who help noobs all the time and just using them for narrative cannon fodder and then the functionality isn't fixed there's even more issues coming in and they fix things but they fix things that those people aren't asked about because it's obviously on the developer end when a customer sees that you know so why would they ask about that it's like why are there wall sections it's like nobody asks those questions you know so that's what i'm starting to think when i see the lack of highlights and the lack of pop-ups for the other career agents they went for the enforcer because it was the quickest easiest thing that they can wrap their heads around shoot this come back shoot this come back shoot this come back shoot this come back or go here, see that thing, come back. Go here, see that thing, come back. And that's 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 it for Enforcer. And for them, it was, oh, I get that context. You know, that's an easy context to have narrative around. But the other stuff is difficult. Because not only do they not understand it, normal players won't understand it. And the last people they want to talk to is the people who answer questions all day and would know the context, you know. But it's, it's funny because it's so Mickey Mouse and stupid that all they had to do was the same thing for Enforcer and they'd be freaking literally fine. You know, highlight dock, highlight undock, highlight warp to mission, um, highlight all the pop-ups, uh, uh, make copy and paste the new pop-ups and just make some bullshit that you did for Aura for the Enforcer because it was just bullshit. But they want to feel like, I think it's just ego. Like, there's nothing stopping them from doing the same damn thing they did at the Enforcer. But they could not fool themselves into thinking they understood the narrative, the storyline. Because all it is is just bullshit copy and paste. And they couldn't, they, they'd have to be, they couldn't, they could not lie to themselves about that. And that's what they want to do. They want to pe have people butter them up stroke the ego and convince them that they can lie to yourself you can lie to yourself it's okay dev it's okay just copy and paste and uh, make some new bullshit up for aura and highlight the dock and undock and warp to mission you'll be fine dev it's okay you you can lie to yourself you can do it <laughs> You can stroke your ego at the same time. We've been doing it to you for years. You're Tay AI. You're a Nazi slot. Get to it. But anyways, yeah. I've said my piece. It's just utterly ridiculous they haven't whipped through and done this all. Because it was so Mickey Mouse copy and paste. It's like, we're going to make it. And it's like, let's, you know what? Screw them. Let's actually look at it. Let's watch their stupid because I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. I know when I'm on this weird binge right now. Alright. Where is 
sorry, squirrel. squirrel there. Monologues. No, that was the expansion, not the noob thing. It's a good thing I started playlisting my stuff right from the start. Can you imagine? Like almost 2,000 videos. Creative director, that's Paragon's boss. Paragon's the ex. MPE clusterfuck. There we go. Good morning. God, this guy. This total tool bag. <laughs> What he's saying is horrifying. <laughs> I mean, just, just the level of arrogance is just unbelievable. Wow. And I didn't see it coming. Like, I'd forgotten. I'd, 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 I'm pretty much confirming what I said at the, as a commentating. Wow, <laughs> but I had no idea. Could you, could you, could you couch your your lingo in something less horrifying? <laughs> so, oh, Jesus, how could this is the first like? Just, this is the first time I've listened to this, right? So, <laughs> Jesus Christ! So it's the fifteen minute mark. Here we go. So, career agents. We lead the player to the career agents during their MP as a handoff. Uh, to find more activity, to become more familiar with other professions. Number one, uh, we get familiar with mechanics, not familiar with other professions, because pretty much the entirety of the career agents are unique, one-off things that you never see in any other mission or any other activity. It's just very... That's it, isn't it? The context. They just want people to tell them the context of the career type. And we're like, there's no class in any of you idiots. <laughs> uh, niche for the career age. There's no, there's, there are player made um, classes in Eve. And that what to do in Eve is a cute little thing. But it's not like there's any real class class you know in eve uh official class so to speak so and the career agents are the last things you want to do to use as what to do in eve because what to do in the career agents things are completely divorced from eve right so it's like uh <laughs> and i think that's their problem 
they want to go this is what it's like in eve and it's like this is you're using the last thing you want to do to show what's like in eve what to do in eve using the career engine because that's just not how this works that's not how any of this works agents they made it very cutesy but they added stuff that were never part of the game ever um and just gimmicks to make the coder's life easier so it did the last thing and it does not introduce you to anything except interesting mechanics that you learn uh not the professions <laughs> and to talk about the past as that this this is what we did for players and we're going to go forward with and that's what he does the art team are working on a massive visual update and the the art team, massive visual update, uh, so nothing in the mechanics, so you're not revamping the whole system, you're just making visual updates to it? <laughs> in its early stages for all of the career agent content, and we on Team Odyssey are going to be looking to... And remember, he's the storyline guy. ...to introduce a guidance layer. And you're like, oh, guidance layer. Oh, thank God. So you've looked at all the frequently asked questions in help, rookie help about, hey, I'm stuck in, in 210 of, I, I forget, <laughs> the books or something? Anyways, I'm stuck in 210 of, of the, this, this career agent arc. Uh, I'm stuck. And we're like, oh, right, it's blah, blah, blah. And you, they go, oh, yeah, yeah thanks, you know. Um, like uh, selling the item, you've got to repackage it before you sell it, or 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 the um, sorry, not sell it, but you got to repackage it in order for the uh, career agent to accept the item you've just obtained for him. And you're it's in your cargo, and you've got everything done. It's just they totally forgot to tell you it's got to be repackaged. Maybe it's hidden in the subtext. But here he goes. Just listen to what he says. It's just, oh, God. Uh, assess the rewards. Make sure any missing critical information is presented to the player clearly and not buried in local chat. So he's storyline. He's narrative. He's make it exciting. And we've got the art department to make it look exciting. And he's going to move the local chat. There was never any useful information even implied in local chat. Oh, God. That's the example he used. So it's like, I'm just, uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> and it wasn't. So, yeah, that's what their stumbling block is. They want to act like they're adding a layer of help and all they're doing is fooling themselves and I think I think they're just floundering right now because they're just unclear on the concept in the beginning and they're I think what they did was they tried to sell this idea um, of, you know, a long time ago, Aura said, we're getting rid of the uh, career agents as they are. And we're, everybody's like, woohoo. Um, and that was months and months ago. And all they've done is sex it up a bit, you know, just like they sexed up Photon UI and, how, you know, ramshackle horrible system um with even more opportunities for confusion and irritation uh, and it's just like i think these people just cook up ideas and sell it to each other without actually talking to anybody that you like you know hey we're gonna look at the npe the career agents i don't think they have any idea how many 
FAQs, literal frequently asked questions are asked in the literal noob help and literal people literally help noobs all day with the same problems, the same issues that have been cropping up for years with the current and uh, career agents and I can guarantee you this guy never asked those people once because do you know why he has no ideas there's there's that many FAQ issues with the system all they saw was yeah our metrics say the new player experience ends here because of X and you're like I don't think that means what you think it means <laughs> This guy's like inconceivable. So yeah. You can check it out. It's in my monologues playlist. You can totally listen to the guy drivel on. Um how long does he blather for? I think he gets another person in. They don't last very long. Yeah, he brings in somebody really quick actually. But yeah, he's like, blah, 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 blah. So go listen to it. I'm sick of him already. I'm like, oh my God, I just, you know, when I make these criticisms, I feel like a bitter vet, like they mock, you know, all the time that is just hating to hate. But I'm like, no, actually I had some points that are just, they aged really well, my points back then. So yeah, if you want to listen to me tear into this idiot, Again, go for it. Um, but yeah. God. And yeah, here I am in singularity. Lolling. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go play Jumpgate, this 20-year-old game I played 20 years ago. And I dropped for because it the server stopped. And somebody was kind enough to upload the game and it's available for free. So I'm having an absolute hell of a time enjoying myself, mining, and exploring. All over again, of a game I've explored 20 years ago, but it's just, you know, I was a bit of a noob at stuff last time. and It's interesting how many errors are in the database for people that I introduced, like the errors I introduced out of trying to do everything and making errors in roid type and uh, making repeat entries on things and different sizes and different types because I was trying to do everything so quickly and going back slowing down making it more enjoyable for myself and patiently repairing the damage and using other people's dad as well over the years um, to improve it as well you know, flesh it out. Oh, I didn't know there was something there. So, you know, and I'd like to do more stuff in the game. It was just that I never had a sterile environment. And since there's so few players, there only used to be like 2,000 players online at a time. But that was enough to screw the dynamics of it. But now there's hardly any. So I have a sterile environment to experiment with. Oh my God, so much fun. But yeah, uh, I come online, check if there's any nearby pirate strongholds, there's not I log off and I no, only need to worry about the actual tranquility four days in a month in order to play for free uh, um, free is in dollars value on six accounts so yeah, whatever yeah, the game's pretty much dead to me but like uh, like that guy from the, the lead developer for uh for uh, Diablo Immoral says, oh, there's only two kinds of people. There's there's the people who uh, either either this game is not for them or it is for them, or the other type of player who just spreads disinformation about the game. <laughs> so basically, if you're arguing on the merits, you either love the game or this game isn't for you. Fuck off. Or the other type of player who doesn't fit into that category of they're telling the truth. They're obviously telling a lie because if you, you're 
you're you're passionate about this game you're criticizing it and you haven't left the game to do something else because you know stop bugging us go away um with your lies that's basically what they're saying and yeah it's 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 kind of kind of interesting how uh you know if you pay attention to things outside your eve online bubble you start to see parallels between the worst and it, it makes this game better i mean if you think about it eve online is like hilmar tries his best to turn it into what that blizzard diablo immoral is like if he had his way it would be fully diablo immoral you know he would be so up in that uh microtransaction thing it wouldn't this we constantly like if you're a new player like that hide it for anybody they know is a veteran but if they think you're a new player you will get pop-ups when you're first playing the game of hey pay and it literally says a dollar sign literally pay this and you can get this and you're like i just I'm 15 minutes into this game. So, yeah, that's what they want. And this. And this. Uh, the only reason it looks like this is because I believe I've got it nested with journal. So yeah, this, and this looks, and the fact that you can't adjust the size of it, and you can't minimize uh, this, um, looks very, very, very much like the in-game shop of Black Desert Online. So yeah. Yeah, when you think about it, Hilmar got hammered hard and he is desperate to add NFTs to this game but it's it's lucky for us uh, Axel Games had half a billion in NFTs stolen from them or uh, sorry not probably cryptocurrency stolen from them um, because you know the two go hand in hand you can't not interact with NFTs without using Bitcoin as the current, uh, the cryptocurrency as the currency, right? Um, Bitcoin just happens to be the most, uh, it's reaching its maximum potential, so that's why he's using so much energy to crunch, and the rest of them will do the same once they get big enough, right? Duh. That's not even a question, that was rhetorical. So yeah, I mean, he would love to have introduced NFTs to this game, but the cowards at Perlata told them not to back off right after they, you know, within two weeks of that. And and FanFest would have been his big reveal of NFTs because he he's just so, like, you know, he has no, like, it would be exactly like Blizzard. Like, did Blizzard stop doing Diablo Immortal because player base were just so incensed about it? No, they think it's a great idea because they've got NFT bros kissing their ass every day saying how great this is and people, you know, how much money you can make off this. <laughs> Don't worry about Axel Games having half a billion stolen from them. Yeah, it's a scam. He's a scam artist. He's always been a scam artist. And, you know, I mean, it's like, would Tai have been an a nice decent wholesome ai no because the people who introduced to ai had no idea about reality that there are a bunch of a-holes in life who are gonna lie to you and scam you and you think it's the greatest th greatest thing ever it's like what is microtransactions i mean we are paying this company monthly 
IV or plexing, which takes people, other people buying from the website in cash for this game. And it's like you are getting money from us as a community through various means, but you're getting regular infusion of, of cash from us every month as compared to, say, Elite Dangerous, who are developing their game year after year, and all they've got is a paid expansion and the game itself, which is free to play, you know, once you bought it. And are they getting regular infusions from all their subscribed players? I mean, that's a lot of players, you know? And we've got to think, this company is getting a lot of revenue from us unlike other companies who are not getting this kind of regular stream and they're still developing their game you know and you've got to think well Stellaris is really annoying with the DLCs and they're all bullshit and I hate the game because it's just a headache in late game because you have to if you're moving into the galaxy you've got to unscrew the clusterfucks that are in the late game as you expand and it's just you're more s s fixing the screw-ups that the ai randomly gets to do and it's just annoying um but it once you realize that and that the late game monsters are just ridiculously easy to cheese you know and you can't and they don't and they don't react in a way that's fun i i heard they've done some fixes but yeah i mean stellaris is still trying to improve itself they're trying you know but ccp do you think they're trying but at least they're not as bad as war gambling and they're not as bad as diablo immoral and the don't you have cell phones comments from them which is pretty much what Rattati and Burger do all day long and the fact that they think it's perfectly normal for developers to wade in or you know community managers to wade in to reddit of all places and engage with the trolls there Tay AI guys Tay AI T A Y if you've never heard of it or her yeah, she got taken off line pretty quick. <laughs> hey, AI, do you believe the Holocaust happened? <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it, it's hilariously funny, and I make light of CCP. But at the end of the day... At the end of the day... I'm playing other games. Um, I'm holding on in this game, uh, not because I have any hope of it anymore, because it's one look at Burger and Rattati, it's just all they see are problems. And they're lying to us and themselves that they were evolving this game. That they haven't evolved this game from the get go. Each patch is a new patch and they've forgotten about the old patch already that's their mentality and they've always had that and the fact that Rattati came up with that quadrants thing and that they milked for two years and at the end of it we realized it was all bullshit because that November patch was just so shit against the wall see what sticks was just so outrageously disgusting and then they treat feedback they see feedback as mere bug reports your feedbacker is only valuable as bug reports, that's it. And the only real feedback they listen to that's considered by humans as feedback is getting their egos stroked and their e being sucked by the null set blocks who have got a death grip on the CSM, which isn't a feedback as much as a kiss ass. Oh, hey, um, by the way, this meta, it's OP, you should nerf it. Decades. And sit and there's no hope it's there's never been any hope um 
and people who left early were smart. But yeah, I mean, pretty graphics. Whoop de frickin' do. Um, do I get any enjoyment out of actually playing the game? Well, it's a space sim. I love space sims. And it's, you know, it's not crashing the desktop every time I undock or uh, crashing the desktop when I'm playing the game. So yeah, the, I'm not, f uh, my ship's not doing ridiculous things or the graphic bugs are outrageous or the audio, <laughs> the audio bugs are outrageous, you know? So it's, it's not a, it's not a broken game, but they've shuffled like a zombie for too many years. And it's just so obvious when you start playing other games, it's like, I'm really enjoying this Mickey Mouse game I played 20 years ago, mining. And they've taken out all the joy of mining, except if you want to hog an ice belt as the 20 multiboxing freaks next to you are just zapping every roid in sight, you know? It's like, wow, that's immersive. Oh yeah, they've killed immersion. Way to go.